In this question, we are provided with a graph that shows the potential energy profile for a chemical reaction. So looking at our graph on the y-axis, we have potential energy measured in kilojoules per mole of reaction. On the x-axis, we have reaction progress. So you can see we've got reactants labeled first on the left, then a transition state, and then products labeled on the right. So that's going through our reaction, starting with our reactants, and then going through time, through a transition state, to the products. The question is asking us to find the activation energy for the forwards reaction. So activation energy is the minimum energy required for a reaction to get started. So if we look at our reactants, we can see that in order to get to our products, we first need to go to our transition state. And the transition state is higher up in energy than we started with for our reactants. So our activation energy, which I'm gonna do a big E with a little A to show activation energy, that's the extra energy we need to get our reaction started. So we start with 20 kilojoules per mole of energy in our reactants. When we're in our transition state, to reach that, we need to have 35 kilojoules per mole. So our activation energy is going from 20 to 35. So 35 minus 20 is 15 kilojoules per mole. That's our activation energy. So our activation energy is how much extra energy we have to put in from where the reactants are to get to that transition state to get our reaction started. So we can fill that answer in here to check. Awesome. Let's do one more. This question also features a potential energy profile, but this time we're trying to find the activation energy for the backwards reaction. So that would be in a case where we start with our products, then we go to our transition state, and then we go to our reactants. So for the backwards reaction, we need to look at, if we start at the products, how much energy do we need to get to that transition state? That's gonna be our activation energy. So for the backwards reaction, we're starting with the products and seeing how much more we need to get to the transition state. So products start here at 10 kilojoules per mole. The transition state is at 50 kilojoules per mole. So we need to get from 10 to 50. So for our activation energy, it's going to be the difference between those. So 50 minus 10, which is 40 kilojoules per mole. So let's check that answer now. Awesome. So in these questions, we're looking at, for the forwards reaction, going from the reactants to the transition state, how much energy do we need to put in to get there? Or for the backwards reaction, we're looking at going from the products to the transition state. Again, how much energy do we need to get there? And that's what's gonna get our reaction started.